Just Rock, we in the building. My name is Sefi, aka the People's Rapper. Uh, uh, it's going down at Hideout. Hideout is one of uh, the dopest spots in, in Luansha. I'm, I'm being here for the very first time, so I'm very much excited about tonight's performance. Um, the crowd is good. People came came out in large numbers to, to, to experience the 187 experience. Uh, so I'm very much happy to be in Russia. Is actually my 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 best place, by the way. So I'm very much happy to be back in. Chef 187 is a, a hip hop artist signed under Alpha Entertainment, a record label based in Dola, Copper Belt, Zambia. And yeah, I'm a hip hop artist. Um, started music way back in, in professionally in 2009. Uh, but otherwise, music has always been a part of me. I wrote my first song in, in 2002. I should think so. Going back to the industry, I think I think people, anyone can see the progression that is there. We are no longer where we, we used to be like five years back. Uh, there's some improvements. There's like uh, some 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 feet that that we've we've managed to to reach as Zambian artists. Um, <clears throat> One example I can give to, to, to actually prove to you that the, the industry has really evolved is uh, the complexity of the lyrics. I came into the industry when, when all I could hear from rappers were Kagelo lyrics. Like, hey, that's okay, check the new one, but a piece of mark, a peak, a hey, chan chan, a good chan chan. Yeah, those are the, uh, the kind of lyrics I, I, I found, but from, from those lyrics to what MCs are, are putting in, 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 in their music now, there's a very big difference. I think people are free to express themselves on a song. People can talk about just anything at the moment. We are not restricted to those Kagelo lyrics at the moment. Apart from that, I think uh, Zambian music is being accepted in other countries as well. Uh, Roberto is, is a good example amongst other artists that are doing well outside Zambia. So that should mean something at least. That, that's not an everyday thing. I won't even lie about it. healthy competition and unhealthy competition. Healthy competition is needed in the industry. Like if I'm competing with you without hating on you, that's okay. If I'm competing with you and hating on you, that's unhealthy competition. And I don't think we need, I don't think we should have any room for unhealthy competition. So of course competition will bring out the best in people. So, um, <clears throat> talking about uh, uh, how competitive the industry is at the moment, I think it is competitive, but I think somewhere along the way we, we crossed that line. Uh, it's like there's a thin line between healthy competition and unhealthy competition. There's uh, a point where that competition brought about uh, a neg negative energies from different artists. So uh, after that, I think no one wanted anything to do with uh, uh, competition on that level. So I think at the moment we are not as competitive as we were like uh, like two years ago. It's like everyone is like letting everyone do their own thing and running by what they they believe in and trying to push their own personal agendas. Well, uh, I think music is not all about accolades. Uh, the thing is, if you if your music is centered around accolades, uh, there will be a time when you won't be getting awards, and there will be a time when you won't get awarded for anything. That time won't mean uh, there's anything wrong with your music. 
So, which is why there's need to emphasize the fact that music should not be about accolades, like the, the ZMAs and whatnot, born and bred and whatnot. I think music is something that should come naturally, and uh, musicians should just do it out of, out of the love they have for the same music, not for awards, recognition, fame and whatnot, and whatever that comes along with it. But all in all, uh, thank you very much for uh, award shows like the ZMAs, the Born and Breads. I think it's always nice. Like me, the way I look at it, I would want, like years after, after I, uh, I retire, years after I'm no longer active in music, I would want to at least show my kids to say, oh, but I didn't fall for my <laughs> Listening to Afonika, I listen to Tommy D, I listen to Tony Breezy, of course, I listen to Makitu, I listen to Dope G, I listen to Critic, I listen to K Star, I listen to Kamstar, I listen to. <coughs> There's a lot of artists I listen to. Well, first of all, <coughs> I think for anyone to, to, to be recognized out there, yeah, first of all, you have to have the talent. And how do you know you have the talent for something? Uh, one, of, one of the many ways to tell if you've got talent is just to look at the passion and interest you have for something. If you have you've got too much passion and interest for something, that same interest will make you a master one day because as long as you keep your interest to one particular thing, I believe it will take you very far. So my word of advice to anyone who's just starting out there is they say God is, is a believer of small small beginnings. So uh, we all start out small and eventually we get bigger and bigger so don't look down upon yourself sometimes your your worst enemy can be your your own mind so my word of encouragement would be to first of all believe in yourself and from believing in yourself you you make people believe in you so believe in, your, in yourself first of all and um, be charismatic, let people like you for, for who you are. Be a real person and I think reality sells more than anything. Just being real is, is, is everything in itself. So believe in yourself and the rest to follow. A lot of things I'm inspired by, I'm inspired mostly by reality, things that Go on around me, things I see from from my friends, from my neighbors, general life experiences. I learn a lot from that, and I I <clears throat> I love to put myself in people's shoes. Love to put myself in different situations, which is why I'm able to bring out an issue in a song and make it sound real. Keep on supporting Zambian music, keep on supporting Alpha Entertainment, keep on supporting the Copala Swag, keep on supporting Fresh Boy music, Chef 187, we're in this.